Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CFO of Wellfield Technologies, Brian Locke. How you doing today, Brian? Good. Thanks, Rich, for having me on the show. Oh, excited to learn more about your company. We love decentralized finance. And let's get right into some questions. Wellfield Technologies is focused on unlocking the power of decentralized finance, otherwise known as DeFi, by building open and accessible decentralized protocols and blockchain-based consumer products. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company and what you do for the company? Sure. Yeah, so I am um, the CFO, um, formerly an accountant, um, drank the Bitcoin Kool-Aid a long time ago and was looking for an opportunity to get into the space and came along um, Levy Hanan and some of the other leaders at Wellfield and jumped at the opportunity to join. Um, really love what we're building at Wellfield. And so at a very high level, we're focusing really on two things. The first is that we've developed some pretty hardcore technology um, that lives on top of public blockchains that'll help give blockchain the power it needs to really redefine the global financial system. And then the second thing that we're focusing on is building applications that make blockchain relevant to our everyday financial lives. I'm super excited to watch you guys grow and evolve. We've been following DeFi since its inception, and I'm a huge fan of decentralized finance. Why is there so much buzz around DeFi right now? And why should investors be paying attention? Yeah, uh, I think blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, DeFi in general has really proven that it has staying power and it has the technology and potential to do what the internet has done, which is really redefined the way people live and interact with each other and how businesses connect directly to consumers and end users. And so like the internet, we're still trying to figure out exactly what DeFi is going to evolve into. But um, and so that there's a ton of interest in many different areas of the DeFi ecosystem of people trying to put money to work and test ideas and business models to see um, what will stick and how finance is going to evolve uh, in the future. I want to just make sure everyone knows the symbol is WFLD. And one of the things I like to understand is there's a lot of other new projects that are coming out with DeFi right now as a major focus. So what sets Wellfield apart from other companies in the DeFi space? Yeah, so if we wanna look at the DeFi ecosystem, I think it's really important to understand if a business is building a blockchain, if they're building smart contracts or services directly on the protocol layer of DeFi, or if they're strictly building applications. And so there are a lot of companies that are building great apps or dashboards, that, that plug people and give them an interface to connect them directly to smart contracts and direct, directly to the blockchain or DeFi. There are a lot of companies who are using the blockchain and DeFi language, but actually provide services to people that are not powered by DeFi. So a traditional cryptocurrency exchange or a Bitcoin ETF is leveraging the hype, but we don't actually consider that to be a DeFi company. Uh, we think Wellfield's very unique in the public markets in that we are building smart contracts and some hardcore protocol technology that lives directly on top of Bitcoin and Ethereum and other public blockchains. And we are also taking a unique approach to the applications we're building. Instead of creating a platform for people to largely speculate on trading and um, staking, we are trying to build out applications that work for people's everyday financial lives. So think about uh, a savings account which is better interest rates because it's powered by DeFi or the ability to take the Bitcoin you already own and get a loan based of based off of that collateral with better terms and lower interest, et cetera. So yeah, I think I'm that's excited. really what separates us. Yeah. I'm excited to see you guys evolve. Can you tell us about the money clip app? I'm very excited about this and why it's unique compared to other digital wallets in the market. Yeah. So, um, Money Clip today uh, exists as a peer-to-peer payments application in Canada. And the reason today Money Clip is a peer-to-peer payments app is that DeFi is in its early days. Just like the early internet companies like Netflix, 
they wanted to stream high resolution content directly to our phones, but the best the internet could give them was mailing DVDs that we order online. And so in many ways, there are infrastructure gaps in DeFi and blockchain right now. And so as money, as seamless, um, the seamless technology that Wellfield's building and others fill in some of those infrastructure gaps, Money Clip will evolve to be a broader financial app that makes DeFi or blockchain work for the way we live. So we really built um, Money Clip because we believe blockchain will put people at the center of money and finance, where today the institutions are at the center and they're the ones that are charging economic rents and defining the terms. And so Money Clip really is our brand to use and create a new way to do banking and finance for uh, everyday life. Now you touched a little bit on Seamless. Wellfield is gearing up for some exciting launches in the new year, starting with the Seamless protocol. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. Yeah. So uh, because we have products that are applications, and then we have some pretty hardcore technology and smart contracts that live on public blockchains, the end users are different. And so we've decided to have different brands and messaging. So Money Clip is the brand we use for our application. And then Seamless is the brand that is used for Wellfield's hardcore tech. And um, Seamless really started off in early 2018, maybe late 2017, as a group of PhDs that really banded together to solve some of blockchain's biggest infrastructure gaps. And so a lot of the, the um, I, I mentioned that DeFi is kind of in its de shipping DVDs in the mail phase right now. There are a lot of um, infrastructure gaps in the blockchain space that require us to use a cryptocurrency exchange, whether we like it or if we don't like it. If I want to trade Bitcoin for an asset on a different exchange on a different blockchain, I need to use an intermediary, a new type of bank or institution. And so uh, Seamless has a very unique breadth and depth of academic expertise. And we've been working on some pretty unique solutions that we will be launching all next year in 2022. And so um, at a very high level, um, one of them is a cross blockchain trading exchange, a decentralized exchange that removes the need for me to send my Bitcoin to an exchange if I want to buy Ethereum, for example, sort of like a Uniswap. Uh, there are a lot of Ethereum uh, decentralized exchanges that only support Ethereum assets. We built from the ground up a brand new architecture and technology that enables us to do what Ethereum or Uniswap does for Ethereum, but for all blockchains. And then um, we also have a very, one of the more exciting products to me, because I'm a Bitcoin uh, holder, is a product that makes Bitcoin compatible with decentralized finance. One of the biggest problems for Bitcoin right now, um, whether or not you, you believe that it has some compelling store of value qualities, is that um, you cannot use it to get a loan. You cannot use it to earn interest unless you send it to another controlled address or counterparty. And so we have some very interesting smart contracts and technology that we're launching next year that will enable you to keep custody of your Bitcoin, but port it into Ethereum and other DeFi blockchains and actually put it to work to earn interest or get a loan, et cetera. Wow. Um, last thing. Exciting. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm super excited about that. There's, yeah. there are already, there's already, I think, quite an obvious market demand for yes. this type of product. Um, yes in WBTC is an example of um, what we may unfair, unfairly characterize as a cartel of exchanges, right? That'll take your money or take your Bitcoin and send you an IOU on Ethereum. And there are already, I think there's $12 billion worth of Bitcoin IOUs on the Ethereum blockchain in the form of a centralized solution. And so we take the idea of your Bitcoin on Ethereum and allow you to keep custody of it. Um, and then um, we have a, uh, a suite of other solutions that solve some of the new challenges that result from the way that automated market making and decentralized trading on Ethereum and other blockchain works. Um, one of them being impermanent losses. So for those who are hardcore, they know impermanent losses are a big deal. Uh, at the moment, there's no way to really hedge your impermanent loss risk without just removing your liquidity from the marketplace. And so we have uh, a novel solution that we don't see anyone trying to build at the moment that allows you to hedge your impermanent loss risk and to make markets or provide liquidity, um, earn the fees and offset the, those risks as well. So, Wow, that's really exciting. Now you touched base a little bit on this. Can you tell us more about the cross blockchain decentralized exchange 
and what sets it apart from other exchanges? Sure. Yeah. So um, just like uh, Uniswap, SushiSwap, Curve, as an example, there are a lot of automated market making decentralized exchanges on Ethereum. Um, but they are technically restricted to only serving or supporting assets on their native ex blockchain, Ethereum. Um, there are groups that have tried to take the idea of an Ethereum DEX and bring in and support other blockchains. Uh, we have not seen anyone be able to do it successfully in a fully decentralized manner. And we have built a novel approach um, that we think is very unique provides high performance and full security um, to the end user that'll enable people to trade their assets across different blockchains without needing a centralized exchange. And so we do that without, for the people who are interested in the tech, we do it without the need for a bridging asset or some of the other needs to custody your assets in a pooled account controlled by third parties. So here at RichDB Live, we really like to understand the fundamentals of the project. Wellfield has put together an impressive management team to help see through its vision. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? Yeah, uh, I'm fortunate to be flanked by some uh, an experienced group of people um, on the leadership team. Uh, Levy Cohen is the CEO of Wellfield and he is the founder of the Seamless, Seamless um, the protocol or smart contract brand at Wellfield. Uh, he has decades of experience working in leadership roles in technology and finance companies in Israel and the Silicon Valley. And then um, Yishai Steinhardt is the CTO and Hanan uh, Steinhardt, uh, their brothers, he is on the board and the CSO. Um, they have decades of, of experience together starting, scaling and selling companies in the Silicon Valley as well. What are some of the key catalysts investors should watch out for from Wellfield in 2022? Yeah, we will be doing a lot in 2022. So um, starting with Money Clip, um, investors should expect to see the brand and the product for Money Clip to evolve from a peer-to-peer -peer payments app to a broader financial application that communicates we are using blockchain to make your everyday financial life better. And we're, we will be beginning to we will beginning we will be beginning to do that uh, very early next year. And then Seamless is three suites of technology. Um, uh, hedging and other uh, liquidity optimization pro pro uh, protocols, cross blockchain trading, and then also making Bitcoin compatible with DeFi will all be launched in 2022. I can't wait. Super excited. It's going to be a huge year. How can investors that are interested in learning more about the company get in touch with you guys? Yeah, so our website is wealthfield.io. Um, we have an investors uh, section of, of the website where you can find our corporate presentation, our, some contact information, our press releases and other filings that we do online. And then um, we're on Twitter, social media. We love to see how people are uh, interacting and responding to the products that we're bringing to market as well. So, uh, But primarily, I think that uh, reaching out to us uh, from the investor section of the website uh, is ideal. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Past performance is not always an indication of future results. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe that DeFi is one of the hottest, fastest growing sectors in the world, especially when it comes to cryptocurrency and investing. We've had great success as a trading club investing in DeFi stocks and DeFi cryptocurrency projects. I think this is another project that everybody should be aware of. Put WFLD on your radar, put on your watch list. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. And thank you for joining us today, the CFO of Wellfield Technologies, Brian Locke. Thanks Rich, I'd love to come back and chat again. Love to invite you back on the show. Anytime you guys have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss for our community or for anyone that's watching, we'd love to invite you back on the show. And I know that our entire community will be watching very closely in 2022 and beyond. Phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, just like Wellfield Technologies, and we bring them to you first. This is Rich from Rich to Be Live with Brian Locke, CFO 
of Wellfield Technologies saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.